Greetings, I'm Jonathan Spear. I jump on new ideas too fast, and welcome to Breakout Super Shorts. Breakout is a new puzzle expert mode mod pack. It's a puzzle in somewhat the same way as Ultimate Alchemy is a puzzle, in that you have to figure some things out. But it's also a puzzle because, well, let's just create the world and find out. We start in a room full of wool. The quest book that simply tells us that we are imprisoned. If we hit wool with our hand, we will get string out of it. If we hit it with an object in our hand, we will break it. We find ourselves in a strange box. When we hit planks with our fist, we get sticks. If we hit the plank enough, it will eventually break. And then we can hit stone with sticks to get flint, which we can make a simple axe. Flint pickaxes, unfortunately, are not so existent. The crafting table is easy. The quest book tells us that a strainer is easy as well. Naturally, so is a net and a survivalist strainer. This is the result of me being a little silly. Let's break our ice. We will gradually get items like clay, sticks, and pebbles. With dried up sugar canes, we may be able to get soon a fisherman's strainer, which will allow us to get things like slime balls and bone meal. I am not the most sensible person in the world, but at least it doubles up the speed of our strainers. Who am I to waste a gift so graciously given by a quest? Cobble is, um, I guess we could call it a cinch. Luckily, we're given a lot of extra cobble. What's that? Furnaces are simple in this mod pack? Bundles of sticks add 33% efficiency to a stick's fuel value. Stone hammers will allow us to mine all that stone that's surrounding us and get more space. And now we are surrounded by currently unbreakable andesite. If you don't feel like wasting wood on chests, use your strainers that you already have. One fisherman's strainer. It requires bait. Bait pot will make bait more efficient. It wasn't that hard to get because we have clay. Bait has a chance of 50% to not be consumed as long as a bait pot is present. One sieve, string mesh, flint mesh. Note, each kind of mesh has its own uses. Let's make a bunch of gravel to complete the quest. To sieve a block, right click on the sieve and start holding down your right mouse button. Four pieces can be turned into chunks which can be smelted in the furnace. Place multiple sieves of the same type next to each other to sieve multiple blocks at once. Let's pick a wooden barrel which we can use to compost dirt. Right click with vegetable items like sticks to fill it up so they can compost. With a dense net, we can make a dense survivalist strainer which will allow us to create dirt. Conveniently, it will also get a sand, tiny coal, and gravel. Let us make five terracotta. A garden trowel will be a help for us. I've been mining dirt repeatedly with my garden trowel to get bait, and bone milling grass blocks repeatedly to get flowers, so that I could get orange dye, gray dye, light blue dye, Sand is being highly uncooperative in the string mesh as I try to get cactus seeds and cocoa beans. This sand is being supremely uncooperative. I click on sand with the next nylo cactus seed to get cactus. Melt your cactus to get cactus green. Cyan dye. Orange terracotta. Brown terracotta. Gray terracotta. Light blue terracotta. And cyan terracotta. Which, all together, produce a bonsai pot. Right click on grass with an ex nylo oak seed to get an oak sapling. Click to place a bonsai pot, put dirt in it, and then stick a sapling on top of it. Right click it with an axe to get any of these items with varying degrees of success. An iron pickaxe will allow us to mine andesite. It is a strange cell we've broken into. For now, however, let us be content with what we have achieved. Next episode will, well, I don't know. As always, if you have any feedback, I'd love to hear it. I hope you enjoyed.